Hello, Cricketers, and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and I am not going to be on the camera for this tutorial. However, I am making something that I have not tried to do before, and I want you to just follow along with me. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a design in Cricut Design Space, layer it with multiple colors and a shape, and place it on a hoodie. I have never made a hoodie because I don't typically wear hoodies, but I am very pleased with the way this one came out. I'm showing you the back, but I'm also going to show you the front. But before we get into that, you know what I would want you to do. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Now, this is the design that we are making today. And this is not an SVG. I created this in Cricut Design Space and I will share my full process with you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at the materials you'll need. After we look at materials, we'll go over to Cricut Design Space. After Cricut Design Space, we'll go and I'll show you how I cut out each of the layers. And after that, we'll get the layers pressed onto the shirt. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. The materials that I'll use for this project include a green standard grip mat, my Cricut Maker, this black hoodie that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. It's a gilded 100% cotton medium hoodie. And unfortunately, I only have HTV in various brands. So I'll be using Black Caesar Easy, um, Black Caesar Easy Weed HTV, this brand of Pro Mini Vinyl. And when I looked it up, um, the heat settings are pretty much the same as Caesar, so hopefully it will do well for me. I'll use some sheets from this package. This has this label on it because I did a whole tutorial on how to shop for vinyl. I'll make sure to link it down below so in case you didn't get a chance to see it. So some of the sheets that I'm using came from this package. And I said I like this brand because it is hot or cold peel. And... The heat press settings are pretty much the same as Caesar. So it's like right at 305 for this one is 10 to 15 seconds. And it's like I said, hot or cold peel. So um, without further ado, let's head on over to Cricut Design Space. I am in Cricut Design Space and I am connected to my Cricut Maker. The first thing I wanna do is grab a template from the templates tool and I am going to grab, pretty sure, oh, I'm going to grab a hoodie, okay? And the hoodie that I will choose is a women's uh, classic, and I will choose a medium, okay? And I will um, increase the view on my canvas to 50%. And even though my hoodie doesn't look exactly like this, this will be a good reference for me. All right, the next thing I'll do is go to images and I am going to grab, I'm going to just do a search for um, black history. Cricut Design Space has a lot of images available for Black History Month and to help you get ready for Black History Month. Um, and the one that I found found that I am going to use. I had a kind of hard time deciding, but I like a lot of these. Like I like that dope queen. I think that's so cute. I like this heart. Um, there are just a lot of different options in Cricut Design Space. Um, and I have decided that I am going to use this image right here and I'm going to add it to my canvas and um, I know I need to bring it down but I won't do that just yet okay so the next thing that I'm going to do is um, type out my text and my text is going to say dope d-o-p-e so I'm going to turn on my caps lock I'm going to type D, then I'm going to leave, um, turn on my caps lock, type D, and I'm going to do two spaces, and then pretend like the O is there, then two spaces, then P, then two spaces, then E. Okay. 
Okay. And the font that I'm going to use is one that is called Space Story that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica. So I'm going to just type in space and it'll come up. It's called Space Story. And uh, okay, I can only get it um, regular and that's fine. And what I'll do now is resize my um, text to match the same height as the Africa, uh, the country, Africa. And I'll bring it down a little bit more. And I will also, I'm gonna decrease, get the E a little bit closer. Actually, I think I'm going to ungroup this and I'll be able to move it as much as I want. I'm using the keys, uh, the arrow keys on my keyboard to move the letters so they stay aligned just like they are. Okay, and I like the way this looks right here. Now, what I'm going to do is um, I know I want the top of my letters to be red just like the top of the country is. Um, it's red, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. I am first, let me make this a little bit wider. Okay, what I'm gonna do first is grab a shape from the shapes tool and I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to stretch it. And my goal is to stretch it so that it is, that it covers all of the red. Okay, all, and it's gonna cover all the way across. Okay. Okay, and I just wanna cover the red at the top. And because when you're using the slice option, you can only slice two pieces, two layers at one time. What I'm going to do is hold down my shift key. I'm going to choose this rectangle. Oh, wait, before I do that, I'm going to duplicate this rectangle one more time because I'm going to need another rectangle in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to hold the shift key and I'm, I have my rectangle selected and I'm going to hold the D and now I have the option to slice. Okay, stick with me. Then I'm going to hold my shift key again, select the rectangle and select the letter P. Now I have the option to slice. And hopefully you can see that it's slicing the top of these letters. I'm going to hold my shift key, hold the rectangle, select the E and slice. Okay, and so what it has done is slice the top of those letters, and now I can change these the color of just the top of the letters. So I'm gonna move that out, and I'm gonna change this to red. And I can move this out, and I can change this to red. So now the top, all three, I mean all four of the tops are red, and I can attach that. So I'm gonna hold my shift key again. Holding my shift key, select the top. I'm going to, wait a minute, make sure that I can, um, okay, I don't think it's attached. I don't think it's attached, okay, perfect. So I'm gonna hold my shift key, select the top, select this top of the Africa, select the top of the P, select the top of the E, and I will attach, okay? Uh-oh, let me undo that. I did not think that this was attached, but obviously it is. So let me ungroup it. There I go. So now I should be able to do it again. So I want to hold my shift key, top, 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 and attach. So now I have a red layer that is attached. So now I can delete this. I can delete this, delete, delete. Now I'm going to take this rectangle and I'm gonna move it up to just cover the black. I'm gonna make sure that all of the black is covered. I see a little piece sticking out right here. So I'm gonna unlock that and just make sure that it's covered, okay? And now I will hold my, select the rectangle, hold my shift key, select the D, and I can slice it, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing, select the rectangle, hold the shift key, select the P, slice it, select the rectangle, hold the shift key, select the E, slice, 
And now I can move this out and I can move this and I can move this and I can move this and I can change the color of this. Now stick with me because I don't want the color of this to be black. I want the color of this to be this gold color. Okay. And so I'm going to change this color also to gold. I'm going to change this color to gold. And I'm going to change this color to gold. And then what I'm going to do is hold my shift key. So I'm going to hold the shift key, select the D, hold the shift key, select, 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 and I'm going to attach. So now I have my gold layer that's attached. And then at the bottom, all I got to do, all I have to do now is change this to green. So there's my green, there's my green, and here is my green. And even though I don't really like the color of this green, it doesn't matter what color I choose here. What matters is the color of the vinyl that I put on my mat. So now I'm going to select the D, hold the shift key, hold it, I'm selecting each one of these and I will attach them. So now I have a green layer. All of this can be deleted now. I'm going to delete this and delete all of this now. And all of this can now be attached. But before I do that, the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and select it. And I am going to do an offset on it. I'm not changing the size of the offset, even though I can see this, the Africa is touching the D right there. Let me cancel right quick and select this just Africa if I can. Oh, I won't be able to because of the way that it is. Let me see what I can do. Let me see if I can kind of stretch it out like that. That's not going to really do it. Um, I would have to detach in order to move I would have to detach it and I don't think I want to do yes I do want to do that so let me detach and let me detach and let me detach and what I'll do is select over the E and I'll just use my keyboard to move it I'll select over the P move my keyboard I mean the move move it over with my key the arrow key on my keyboard and i'll select over this there i go okay i think that is adequate space in between now i can just use the arrow key on my keyboard to move it back over and make sure that you know my spacing is good okay i like that now i can select the let me select my red and get it back attached Okay, and select my gold and I get it back attached. And select my green and get it back attached. Okay, and now um, what I think I want to do is see what an offset will look like on this. I love it. I know I say I love it a lot. But I love this. I think it looks amazing. I think it looks amazing. So what I'm going to do now is do one more offset and I can see that this is still touching and I think I'm okay with that because I want to see what it looks like. Um, it does not bother me. I am going to change that to white because the hoodie that I'm putting this on is black. Okay, so I think I like it like that. Let me look one more time to see if I add one more layer. Ooh, <laughs> that's kind of overkill though. Um, let me undo that one. I think the white layer, oh, let me look one more time and do another offset and apply it and see what that offset would look like in a different color, maybe 
Oh no. Oh no. Okay. That's like too, too, too much. Green is not bad, but black is better. And, you know, I really feel like I don't need the black because, but that black really does make it pop. It really does make it pop. I like it. Okay, let me look at it. I think I'm, I think this is, even though I don't need a black offset because the hoodie is black. Let me see what this will look like. So let me go to my hoodie and change the color of it to black. And let me turn these grid lines off. And let me go ahead and group this and move it down to the actual size that it'll be. Yeah, that black offset is not necessary. So I'm gonna remove that black offset. That last black offset, it can go. Okay, so I go out to here. Let me see, 9.5. Oh my goodness, I love this. Okay. I like that a lot. Okay. So now, um, I think that I want my width to be right at 9.6. And I think that's fair and safe. And, um... There's one other word that I want to add. So I'm gonna to go to text and I'm going to type, I'm turn my caps lock off and I'm going to type unapologetically. Apologetically. Okay, and I want this to be white. And you know, I can keep it like that, but I know I'm not going to keep it like that. I'm going to use a font that is called chocolate. So I'm just type chalk. And I know I want this to be white. And let me see what my options are. Okay. So now, and I want it to be, I want it to just sit on top of it like that. Let me kind of stretch it out a little bit more. Yes. Yes. This is how I want it. Now, I think I want this a little bit long, taller, I guess. Like that. And I know I'm going to need to weld on a pot of unapologetically and for dope it is pretty much perfect just the way that it is okay and I just want to be sure that it is I really I really I love the way this looks make it and see what it looks like my goodness yes so I have one white mat I have one black mat I have my gold layer I have my green layer and I have my red layer so I have five mats when really, to be honest, I can do this in less, less mats. I can move my black. Let me first go ahead and mirror this and um, move it down like I always do. Let me move this down. Okay, so this will be my white mat. So what I'm doing here is just repositioning the designs on the mats and condensing the mats so that I can go from five to three mats 
and just making sure that everything is in the appropriate place. I am going to choose everyday iron on and I'm going to change my default pressure to more. I have my white vinyl loaded. It is on the mat with the shiny side down. I'm just going to go over it really quickly with my brayer to make sure that it is, you know, fully adhered to the mat. This is not a 100% necessary step. But if you have a brayer, it's good to use it. I don't always use it. I didn't use it in my tutorial yesterday when I did um, a project very similar to this one. I'm gonna go ahead and load my mat. My mat is mirrored, and so my design is gonna look like it's being cut backwards, but that's what it's supposed to look like. My next mat has my gold layer at the top and the black layer at the bottom. The vinyl is on the mat with the shiny side down because remember when you're working with HTV, your image is mirrored and your vinyl is on the mat with the shiny side down, okay? My last mat has the green at the top, red at the uh, bottom. Now I will start to get my vinyl all weeded out. So let me say hoodie. I am going to put it on my heat press and give it some good old pressure and um, you know hope I do it right even though I had both of these on the same mat I needed to cut the this layer away from this because this is going to go on top so the first layer that I will place on my heat press is on my hoodie is this layer. And, you know, I typically go down, you know, just three fingers, just three fingers down, but I'm gonna go down a little bit more to save space at the top for unapologetically. So um, I think I'm just put it right here. And I think that is the center. And I'm going to get my Teflon sheet. Now that I have my white layer pressed, I will start to just layer the other colors in order, starting with black. And I'm just being careful to make sure that it is aligned to the HTV that's already there. Once I feel like I have it in place, I'm just doing a tack, a simple tack for five to six seconds on each of the layers um, so that I'm not over pressing the white layer and every layer that's on top of it. So I'm pressing each layer for five to six seconds. Now I'm on the red layer. Um, and once I let get that tack down, then I moved on to my green layer. Got it peeled up. Um, I decided to turn the hoodie the other way because I was having a hard time keeping the hood um, out of the way under the press. Then I got ready to do my green layer. And then, um, you know, also being very careful with placement and the last layer to go on top of the word dope was the gold layer. And I was just kind of, you know, very careful. And then the last layer was white. 
and I just let that one cool because that is not Caesar. I've given the hoodie time to cool off. Now I'm going to peel it back carefully, strategically, and hope I don't have any issues. I keep saying I'm going on American Idol, but you know, I get busy. That is my finished product. And what am I going to say other than I love it and hopefully you do too. Hopefully you were able to follow along with this process and you learned something. And if you did, if this video added any value or if you learned something, please consider hitting that like button and go ahead and subscribe. Turn on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. This is my most recent design and I absolutely love this. Thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching.